Governor Abbott of Texas is now celebrating a Texas border win. And if you check out some of the numbers, it seems like Texas is actually winning. Now, Abbott said Tuesday that Operation Lone Star, his campaign to block illegal migration, is working after U.S. Customs and Border Protection is showing figures and numbers of sharp decreases in illegal crossings into Texas. We're seeing the Texas governor show off some numbers. One of them is encounters between migrants and also law enforcement on the border. The encounters fell by 28% in Texas. Over the same period, it increased 35 and 52% in California, Arizona, both states having a very Democratic governor. So you have Texas, you have patrols and migrants dropping by almost a third, whereas other places are increasing dramatically, especially right now in Arizona, they're experiencing a massive migrant rush. Seems like Texas is not messing around. And I don't really see what's the big issue about protecting and securing a border. If you go outside the U.S., there's borders are extremely secure and you have to go through the legal way. So this is one of the biggest things grappling the U.S. politics sector right now. And it seems like the Biden administration is not doing anything to protect the Texas border. The Texas guys have to do it all by themselves. And look at this, there's also a controversial Texas immigration law. It was blocked by the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. It's the SB4. So Texas wants this to be approved so they could arrest and deport migrants who came into the state illegally. Now, what Texas wants and has said numerous times is they welcome migrants, but they have to do it the legal way. You can't just have an open border policy with people just rushing into the border and then basically overwhelming towns cities and all that stuff right now texas have a lot of good things going for them like for example austin is becoming a big tech city dallas and houston are having massive population inflows we're seeing states that are playing the sanctuary city card like new york city dropping by almost 600,000 people in the past three to four years because frankly the quality of life is going down we're also seeing a lot of the texas troops and national guardsmen holding the line now the governor of texas has also decided to send 200 other tactical border troops to El Paso to bolster it even more. But you already have a lot of these troops being injured recently and some migrants even been arrested and charged with assault. We also gotta talk about the New York City migrant crisis. For all the Texas guys out there who are protecting their borders, this is the reason why they're doing so. Look at this New York City man talking about the migrants. It's one thing to help people out, but not at the expense of people who pay taxes. It's diminishing the quality of life. You're really taking away from services that taxpayer pay for. They're getting taxed three times. This is crazy. And many citizens of New York City are sick and tired of the migrant crisis. It's just migrant crisis on migrant crisis on migrant crisis. New York is starting to spend billions. Do you think Texas wants to do something like this? Absolutely not. Texas wants to secure the border. The reason why is they do not want to pull in New York City. New York City already lost trillions of dollars worth of hedge fund money. Businesses are pulling out. Crime is sky high. Shoplifting is so high to the point that whole entire malls have closed. Do you think Texas wants to do that? Absolutely not. This is why Texas wants to secure the border. There's already several border towns. These small towns, there's also farms, already being overwhelmed and destroyed just from the recent border invasion. Now remember, there's already troops guarding the border and it's still like this. But right now, one thing's for certain, Texas is holding a line. It's one of the last states that has reasonable policies. Like I said, having a secure border, nothing's wrong with that. It's expected for countries. So that's really about all I have to say. Thanks for watching guys, comment below. Let's see what else is happening because right now, look at sanctuary cities like New York City, they're basically collapsing with even one of their biggest malls dropping and closing down.